Welcome back to another installment of How Am I Doing on That Ukulele? Well, uh, I've been working on it for quite a few weeks now, and uh, it's really turning into something that I uh, sand one day and then paint that day, and then uh, I wind up leaving it alone for a week. I've learned that this enamel paint, even though it says fast drying, indoor and outdoor, wood, metal, plastic, and more. Yeah, uh, however, uh, I've learned that no matter what the instructions say, if I hit it with uh, sandpaper too soon, it kind of balls up. It doesn't sand off in a nice powder. It balls or pills and kind of makes a mess. So I've been painting and then sanding uh, about uh, a week. Each coat has been about a week apart. Um, what I'm showing off here is uh, that there are still some imperfections that need to be cleaned up. Uh, I had one point where I made a mistake and uh, I bumped the back of wet paint with uh, my long sleeves on a cold day and it really put in some grooves that I'm, um, this would be like the third coat of paint I'm trying to put on since then. One thing is when this is finally done and finally painted, it's gonna be practically bulletproof because it has so many coats of paint on it. So, uh, let's see how this is going. We're gonna get to painting this now. Well, first let me apologize. This section of video is actually sideways. Apparently, uh, when I hit record, the phone, because I use my iPhone 6S Plus to do this right now, it was not in the right location. Anyways, well, what I show in here, it's my Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. You'll remember from the earlier video, I did primer this ukulele body. I was really happy with the primer I used. I will most likely use that again in the future. It was fast drying. I was able to do multiple coats that one day. I finished primering the instrument on that first day, which really kind of set me up because I got to thinking, wow, this is gonna be amazing how fast this is gonna go. Nope. So here we are, many weeks later. Uh, I'd, I'd have to go back and find out exactly when I started this to know how many weeks. I've lost count with how many coats. And what I'm doing here, I have my little standing block that I made so that I can get a very flat surface. My goal on this is, of course, to sand down the high areas so that the low areas get filled with paint and it creates a level uh, surface. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to be sanding this entire body uh, and getting on there. Here's some gloves I have so that I can try and keep spray paint off my hands in the future. I've really sped up the film so that we don't have the drawn out sanding process. Uh, I'm using 440 grit sandpaper right now with that small sanding block, a small strip of sandpaper that I have, and then half a sheet of sandpaper to take care of some of the larger areas. Let's move on. I have a lot of little, few little points on the uh, ukulele. Uh, you can see in the middle there where the sun's glaring off. It looks like little holes. And that's actually where the end grain of the wood has made little vacancies. So what I'm going to do, I sprayed a little bit of paint on the end of this can. And I'm going to use a piece of straw as kind of like a little paintbrush and dab in little spots in those little holes. Uh, let's see if we have success. I'll again speed up the film here. Uh, what I'm doing is just using this little piece of straw. Uh, it's from a broom, straw broom. 
and I'm dabbing it into the wet paint and really dabbing it against the holes, the little vacancy spots. I don't want those when I'm done with the end of the ukulele. I'm in a sense filling them. And so hopefully uh, this will be successful. Well, I should be wearing the respirator. You're absolutely right. I'll be putting it on a little later when I move closer to the instrument while I'm painting it. Right now I'm holding it at arm's length and you'll notice the light air movement, not even a breeze, the air movement is carrying away the cloud of paint and vapors away from me. It's one of the reasons I like doing the painting outside because um, the, the vapors are gone. And of course, this is enamel. Um, it's a little more forgiving. Uh, than lacquer. Um, in the future when I do use lacquer, <laughs> I'll be wearing the uh, the respirator a lot more. And there you have it. So that's my project, my progress for the uh, for the week. And uh, I let it dry again, and we'll see what it looks like next week. If you've been following along for this long project. Sorry it's taking so long, but thanks for watching.